Hey folks, I'm Mark Ryan. This is Super Review, and this down here is the Harmonic Dine Zeus Elite. Um, that's right, this is the Zeus Elite. A couple of years ago, it's probably been since I reviewed the original Zeus. Um, that was a $350 dynamic driver headphone that I thought was you know, definitely not my tonal preferences. It was definitely bassier and warmer, thicker than I typically like, but I like that enough that I keep checking out this company's headphones. Um, the latest Poseidon was not so great, but the Elite, well, this one's actually not bad. This, this one's coming in at 380 bucks, so it's a little bit more expensive than the original Zeus, but I do think that it is 30 bucks well spent, and we'll get into talking about exactly what it is I like about it, and mostly it's the sound, but um, we'll start by describing the physical form factor of this headphone, which is coming in, I think, effectively the exact same build of the um the the zeus and the poseidon although aesthetically i think they've made some pretty significant improvements here with the elite so yeah i would say that the the chassis of this headphone is it's it's okay like i think build quality wise it's fine like the materials are pretty nice you've got um a lot of plastic down here some plastic down here you've got some real wood there the ear cups are made out of in fact a real wood you've got a steel headband here um, and then a lot of really nice soft touch points on the ear pads and the headband, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Now, where it's maybe a little bit of a bummer, yeah, it's just kind of like a floppy clacky build, which is true of the other headphones as well. But in terms of materials and stuff, like it feels pretty nice in the hand. Um, and well, honestly, I think it feels probably nicer on the head. So I guess I'll do the fit demonstration now here with the Zeus Elite. Um, in terms of clamp pressure, I would say I've described this as like very modest clamp pressure. It's more so than like a, a Hyphenman headphone where it feels like it's just kind of like floating on your head and not really stable. This has got enough clamp that it feels pretty stable. Um, it's fairly lightweight as well. So um, I don't foresee this thing or anyone having issues with this thing over the long term. Um, and yeah, just generally a pretty comfortable headphone. What contributes a lot of that is down here with these ear pads, which are made out of my favorite ear pad material. Uh, this is a micro suede material, which is what I, I really like. You know, it does maybe pick up a little bit of lint, but um, generally I just, I find that these to be um, the best balance of comfort and aesthetic on a headphone. Like velours can, you know, give you kind of a, a similar look uh, and kind of give you a similar not sweatiness to it, but they tend to be a little bit scratchy. Whereas I find that the micro suede material, I generally, I don't really have any issues with scratchiness on it. It's just very comfortable, soft, plush. And I dig it. Um, the pads are also quite soft and plush. You can see kind of like the, the memory foam in there. Um, what can I say? I was going to describe the, uh, the, the shape of the, the cutout here in the ear pads. This is actually, I believe different from the original Zeus. From what I recall, the original Zeus, it was a single thickness all the way around. And here they've gone with, um, a somewhat smaller chamber now inside. Well, with my ears inside that chamber, it's still a very roomy ear cup, um, front to back. My ears are not touching it unless I press in really far. Now my ears are touching the back of the, uh, of the driver but yeah generally my ears are not touching anything so i don't have any issues with that and i'm guessing that the reason that they've gone with this shape is for tuning differences because yeah the shape of the inside of an ear pad can have drastic drastic changes on the tuning of a, of a headphone and we'll talk about the tuning in a little bit uh, i did want to briefly mention the cable this is a standard dual 3.5 millimeter entry cable, so you can swap this, replace it with something else if you so choose. Um, it is a nice cable. It's pretty thick, as you might be able to see here. It's kind of built like a lot of IEM cables, just about two, maybe three times thicker than average. Um, it's it's pretty cool, actually. It, it's, a, it's a nice fit for a headphone. This cable here is probably a, your standard four-foot cable. It does come also with a second cable with an XLR connector on it. And that one might be a little bit longer. I don't have that one in hand with me right now. But what is notable about these cables is that both of them are balanced out of the box, right? So the XLR cable, that's balanced. Here, this is a 4.4 millimeter balance connector. And I don't recall this headphone coming with any adapters to use this thing on a single-ended source. So if you are listening on a headphone source, it's got 6.3 millimeter or 3.5 millimeter connectors. You're kind of out of luck with this cable. I mean, obviously, again, you can replace the cable if you want, or there's much cheaper ways to just get adapters and, and use those adapters. 
to turn this 4.4 mil into a 6.3 mil or even a 3.5 mil if you want. Um, but it is notable. I think that there are no single ended options in the box. That is an interesting choice. I don't know that I agree with it, but I'm also not really into the balanced memes like a lot of people are. Look, this headphone doesn't require a ton of power. Um, I'm running it off my MacBook most of the time. And that means that, yeah, most of the time I've not been using, um, well, I have been using it with an adapter. But yeah, I guess what I'm saying is balanced is a meme, folks, but I don't know. You get, you get what you want. Um, what else can I say about the physical stuff? I don't know if there's much to say. I mean, it does, I don't have it here with me because uh, I'm you know, not in my studio, but it does come with a, a pretty interesting carry case. Almost looks like a little briefcase of sorts. Um, the other ones have come with it. The, the one that the Zeus Elite comes in is a little bit smaller, actually quite a bit smaller than those other ones. Maybe not quite as overbuilt and like premium feeling, I suppose, as the other ones are, but maybe a little more practical. And it's also got like a display display case top, like you can see into it. I don't know. Anyway, it's kind of a neat little trick that Harmonic Dine does with their headphones, and they have continued it here with the Zeus Elite. Now, let's talk about sound. And let's start by describing the frequency response here of the Zeus Elite. And um, this is, I think, where they've made the biggest improvement versus their other headphones. So let me actually real quick pull up the original Zeus frequency response. And this is getting into describing what I mentioned, not being the biggest fan of in the original Zeus, was just a lot of bass, right? You could describe this as definitely a bloaty sound. Um, now the treble comes through actually surprisingly clean here on the original Zeus. And because of that, it cuts through that bass and you get the sound signature that is, while again, not my favorite sound, it is actually pretty pleasant and fun to listen to. Whereas the Zeus Elite goes for a much more balanced sound, but still very, very bassy, okay? Um, this this right here, you see this emphasis? That is a lot of bass, right? So if you're worried about the Zeus Elite not being bassy enough, I wouldn't worry about it too much. You're just gonna get a more present vocal region, which is what you get here. And overall, like just a more balanced sound while still having a hefty amount of bass. Um, now, I will say that technical performance on the Zeus Elite is just okay to my ear. I would say, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe a little bit mushy on the top end and the bass can maybe come across a little bit loose. Um, Overall, though, it's still pretty fun listen and, and generally pretty engaging. Like it's got a nice wide stage, maybe not the most distinct and clear imaging or anything like that. But um, yeah, oh, overall, I think this is a pretty fun listen. I would say out of five stars, I give the Zeus Elite solid three stars. I'd say it's an improvement over the original tonally, maybe a little bit step behind in terms of the technical performance, at least to memory. Um, but overall, I prefer this one to the original. Uh, and if you want to check it out, of course, I've got it linked in the description down below. Shout out to Linsoul, by the way, for sending in the Zeus Elite for review. I've also got them linked down below. Uh, and while you're down there, if you like this video, please do hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ding the YouTube bell. Uh, and join me on Discord. Uh, if you're not on Discord, well, you can join now. Or you can just wait until the next Super Review. And I'll catch you then. Uh, have a good rest of your week. Good weekend. Good, good, meh, whatever. I'll catch you later. Cheers.